walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 Kicking what? in the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Keith Thurman came out of that fucking hole that he been hiding in. You know, this motherfucker used to be the loudest motherfucker in the welterweight division. Had all of the potential in the world. He still do got the potential. But he just like, he fighting once a year now, man. And you barely even hear anything from him. And he talking about this possible matchup between him and Danny Garcia. Because they were saying, you know, when Danny Garcia was talking about fighting John Molina Jr., they were saying that we could possibly see him fighting Keith one time Thurman next. Keith Thurman had a little bit of shit to say about that shit. Let me get into his statement. That's definitely a unification bout, and I am pro-unification bouts. For those who know what kind of fighter I am, I've had my eyes set on Danny the second he wanted to make a fight at a catchweight and act like he doesn't want to participate at 140. If you are not participating at 140, then you are participating at 147. If you are participating at 147 and you aren't talking about Keith Thurman, you ain't no champion. Keith Thurman's statement. He do got away with words. That was real clever, man. That participating shit. He know how to flip the hell out of shit, huh? You know, he's a good talker. He know how to sell himself. I've seen him on TV and um talking like a WWE character. I mean, he's really good. He, he could be really big, man. If he just fight more. It's like he became a millionaire and now you just like, fuck it. I'm rich, bitch. I don't give a fuck about you bitches and this shit. Fuck boxing. I'm rich. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we want to see you in action. It's some fighters that I want to see fuck you up. And you're not making those fights. I wanted to see Errol Spence fuck you up. You didn't make that fight. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to see the Kell Brook fight. I don't know who would have won that fight. But Kell Brook looked pretty decent against Triple G. Maybe that's because Triple G ain't shit. Or maybe it's because Kell Brook is a great fighter. But who knows? He might have fucked you up. I would have liked to see him try. But y'all ain't make that fight. Now you're talking about fighting Danny Garcia? He might fuck you up. It ain't no short thing that Keith Thurman could win that fight. You know, this ain't the, that ain't the first time that Danny Garcia went into a fight as the underdog. I believe he was the underdog against Lucas Matisse. Beat his ass. He was the underdog against Amir Khan. Knocked his ass out early. Earlier than Canelo. So, you know, Keith Thurman, you keep asking for this shit. Then you're going to get what the fuck you looking for. And you're going to end up getting your ass beat by one of these motherfuckers. But, you know, in order for you to get your ass beat, you need to start fighting more. Yeah, you need to come the fuck out of hiding. Stop fucking hiding in your bedroom and shit, taking these goofy ass pictures and get your fucking teeth fixed. I'm tired of looking at that gap in your fucking mouth. Stop smiling so hard. Ain't shit, ain't shit to be happy about. You ain't fighting. You ain't giving us the fights that we want to see. You fought Porter. Okay, yeah, props to you for fighting Porter. I did want to see that fight. Congratulations for pulling it off. But damn, you fighting once a year now? I mean, we would like to see you unify with Errol Spence when he get that IBF title. You know, regardless of whatever happens with Spence and Kell Brook, I believe Spence is going to end up with that title. I would like to see you fight him. It's not a short thing that Errol Spence is going to win that fight, so don't be scared. You know, he's still green, right? He's fought some B-level fighters now, and he's about to grab a title real soon in your weight class. Don't you want another title? Keith Thurman is really a secondary champion. It is his fault, though. You know, he's the regular champion at um 147. You fuck around and Floyd come back, you ain't even going to be able to get the super title because Floyd is like the champion in recess with the super title, and they trying to give it to you. Just fight David Avanesian and, and knock his ass out. That's easy work for you. But no, you don't want to fight for the rest of the year. Fuck is going on, man. You know, if you get that super title, you just might be protected from Errol Spence because Errol Spence is like two or three in the WBA's rankings. He's coming for your motherfucking head. Now, if you go and knock out that fucking bum and go to super champion, now you're going to be protected from Errol Spence in the same way Floyd Mayweather was protected from you. But you don't want to do it. You, you you sitting around here taking these silly ass pictures. You know what I'm saying? Cheesing all fucking hard and shit. And acting like shit sweet. This shit ain't sweet. You know, some of us boxing fans want to see you get fucked up. And you ain't trying to fight. 
You you just running around here. You don't you barely even come outside. The fuck is going on with Keith one time Thurman? You know, I would like to see him fight Danny Garcia. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Danny Garcia is undefeated, undefeated world champion, has the WBC welterweight title at 147 pounds. I would like to see him unify with that secondary title holder, Keith one time Thurman. And, you know, see how it'll play out. That'll be a really big fight, man. That's a that's a really, you know, they might be able to make that pay-per-view, Showtime pay-per-view. You know, Showtime and PBC work together. They can make that pay-per-view and sell like a decent amount of pay-per-views, you know, but put the shit on PBC for free. You know, they put a lot of really good fights on PBC for free. It's just, you know, not all of the fights are good. But, you know, that would be a great fight. And um, I would love to see it. I know that Keith Thurman would go into that fight being a favorite. Keith Thurman is a great boxer, you know, but um, if you pressure Keith Thurman, he'll take off running from you, you know what I'm saying? And he's really good at running. That motherfucker ran from Leonard Bundu. You let Errol Spence have a better performance than you just because you decided to run. And then, I mean, Bundu was like, what, 40, 41? You ran from this old motherfucker just because he walking up on you fainting this shit. He was fainting and not even throwing punches. That was enough to scare the fuck out of Keith one time Thurman. And make him take off running. Errol Spence fought that motherfucker aggressively. And knocked that motherfucker through the ropes. Slumped. Man down. He's like making it look like he's better than you. When he's still a prospect. Well, a contender now. But fuck a contender. He's still a prospect to me. You you made it look like he's better than you. You know what I'm saying? People already was feeling like you was ducking him. And you went to the decision with, with a guy that he knocked out. So... Errol Spence just might be the favorite if you two fight. If you don't duck, because, you know, he has worked himself up. And then if he get a world title, yeah, now it's seriously something to talk about. He'd be a, a world champion, not a secondary world champion like you. You know, you know, Keith Thurman didn't really win the title ever. He fought for the vacant WBA interim title in a Diego Chavez fight when they was both undefeated. You fought for that interim title and then they promoted you. You know, you graduated to regular champion and you could graduate to full champion if you stop bullshitting. But you rather just sit around and let shit just go on and shit. Let this motherfucker Errol Spence climb these fucking rankings and shit. I mean, it, I don't even know if you'll fight fucking Danny Garcia. You don't want to fight, period. You ain't fight no fucking body. You won't even fight this bum so you can get your super title. When we know you'll beat his ass. He ain't do shit to earn it, but motherfucking beat a 45-year-old Shane Mosley. Go beat that motherfucker up and get the real title. So they can get rid of that fucking regular title or let somebody else fight for the regular title. You know, some of these guys need belts to help build their name. You sitting here just sitting around with options and shit, not fucking fighting, being a fucking goofball. But I would love to see that fight, man. I love it. You know, it's a really, really big fight. They could sell a lot of tickets, man. They could really, like, have a really big gate for that fight, man. Both fighters is big draws. You know, both fighters get millions of viewers every time they fight. I mean, at least two million. You know, which is huge because, like, on average, most boxing events get, like, a million views. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, that's, like, pretty much the average on all of them. You know, when Keith Thurman fights every single time, he gets over 2 million viewers. And when Danny Garcia fight every time, he get over 2 million viewers. I know that has to translate into dollars in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? These people look at their numbers, and then you can kind of, like, you know, they make more money because they can make more on the advertising dollars. Look, this guy is generating millions of viewers each time he fights. So in order to get a slot in this, this segment is going to cost more. You know what I'm saying? And put them two together. They could put it on free TV and kill it. They could. That'd be like, what, three million viewers easy. Three million, maybe four. Shit, that's, that fight would be the shit, especially if they put it on free TV. That would be great for boxing. But you know what got to happen for it to happen? Keith Thurman need to stop fucking around. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you.